welcome back to my channel. Do you guys know what time it is? You do because the title of this video, my makeup routine, something that I've been telling you guys I would do for so long and I have not done it yet and I am so excited to do it for you. I'm also just feeling good about it. So let me get all set up. Hold up. All right, I have been on social media enough where showing my skin shouldn't be such a vulnerable thing, but it still is. It's honestly, it's just by no means easy. I have been struggling with skin for probably around four years. To give you the quickest, quickest, quickest rundown, I was on Accutane. I then got off of it. I broke out again. I then ended up taking blood work, found out I had a hormonal imbalance. We really managed that. And then ever since then, I've just still been dealing with it, even though my hormones are showing they're good so then i decided actually to try and go back on accutane and my headaches got so bad i had to get off of it so now i am still taking a hormonal natural medication it's not a medication because it's literally herbs and i think that's helping and then i'm also doing a laser experience i will link it below what it's called it's actually very new and it's supposed to be doing the same thing as accutane because it's supposed to be closing your oil glands so really what they're thinking is my skin just produces way too much oil and so it just naturally breaks out very easily so it's amazing i love it but i am getting married next year so my goal is to just not have to think about my skin i will say this whole journey has helped me love myself on a deeper level when i tell you when i first had acne i wore makeup every single day i would never let anyone see me with my skin and now i like show up to so many things just embracing it and it's brought me closer to so many people connect to so many of you who've gone through this and really connect to myself and just love myself more for its imperfections and just know that this is a deeper meaning so i am working with someone to make sure my hormones are just super balanced my stress levels are okay there's a lot that goes into it and not every situation is for everyone. Again, I'm not going into my whole journey because I have tried spirulactone. I've tried so many different things and this is just my specific journey. So that is my note there, but I want to take you guys through a makeup routine because I feel like I have slightly mastered what works for me. And then also I'm really big on non pore clogging ingredient products. That was something that was really huge when I was like really in my acne stage. They asked if I would find makeup products that were less damaging to my skin, less breathable. And so ones that did not have pore clogging ingredients, which makes sense because you do such a crazy skincare when you're on acne or it, even in general, I feel like skincare is so huge. And then you put products that actually have crappy ingredients on your skin, like makeup. It just like does not make sense. So I love this site. I'm gonna link it below. It is, you can literally type in, take a product, take one of your makeup products, find the ingredients on the site, plug it into this site and it'll tell you if there's a pore clogging ingredient in it. You will be so shocked how many makeup products have pore clogging ingredients in them and it is up to you what you wanna do with it, but I do find it to be a really awesome site and super easy to use. So without further ado, I think let's jump in. Again, here is my bare skin. My chin is kind of my naughty area and then I just have like a little bit of some scarring going on. Keep you guys posted on the laser that I'm doing. I just did my second laser, there's three and she said by the third one my skin should be perfectly clear so fingers crossed I did want to show you guys obviously my body is way more tan than my face I never tan my face I did for a period but again I looked up the ingredients and there was pore clocking in them so I do still tan my body I use Bondi Sands one hour self tanner I don't leave it on for one hour I leave it on for like three to four sometimes even six I'll sleep in it I feel like this color the one hour one is just so beautiful i love all of their products honestly bondi sands but this one i get the most compliments when i wear this one it looks like you actually went to the beach and got a really real tan so that's why it's my favorite but one hour it does actually work for me i'm already all of complexion so i feel like it works but for someone that's on the fair side i would say wear it up to four to six hours but it is magic and then to maintain the tan, I use this Tan Lux, the gradual, and it's a lotion. So this is nice so that you can keep the tan for longer because I don't know about you guys, but I, 
I actually don't love a tanning process like the mitt the whole thing I just get annoyed so I have the least amount of tanning I can do possible so this is really nice I also love the brand that's a lotion called Lux Unfiltered those are my two favorites this is the one I'm just finishing right now but that one also is my favorite and it's just the same one for everyone same color love this so that's how I've been kind of just maintaining my tan. Okay, I think let's jump in. So all I have on my skin right now is moisturizer and sunscreen. For today, I'm gonna walk you guys through a couple different foundations. This is an OG. When I had really bad acne, this is what I used because I felt like it provided the most coverage but did not look like it was cakey. I think the best compliment I always got was I never knew you had acne. I swear it was the makeup. This is a brand called Illuminaire. It is very thin thick a little goes a long way that's why the tube is this small and it is a concealing mineral foundation so it's just it's thick it's intense but it's non pore clogging and it does the freaking trick so this is something i highly recommend i was in the color y'all i can't even see the color anymore i'm gonna say I, I was sun i'll confirm on that then today i'm gonna actually this is my every day when my skin is having a really good day i will just use the ysl bare look tint this is in shade number eight but since today i am breaking out a little bit more and i'm getting like fully ready for my day i'm gonna mix these two this is the luminous silk Giorgio Mani foundation this is a little bit dark because of my tan this one's a little lighter so i'm gonna mix them together this is very light so you have to build it up especially if you have acne prone skin you can see and then i'm just gonna mix these at the back of my brush i probably need a little bit more again it matters the day I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I change kind of like how I apply my makeup quite often. Like some days I want my hands. So if I just was gonna use this, I use my hands, but I'm going to use this brush I got on Amazon. It's like a dense buffer one. And I'm gonna start going outwards first and just pat it into my skin. I think that's another huge thing is patting, not like rubbing when you have bumps and stuff because you really want to grab each area and when you're like rub it in you're like just really putting it into the skin and for us girls we need the product <laughs> okay so i put it along my eye i don't really get underneath my eye with this product because i'm already going to put concealer there and if i've learned anything with my skin is just like trying to have the least amount of product in an area so it doesn't look so cakey so I just try and miss the area that I'm already gonna put concealer on. And then I'll take it down to my neck. Next we're gonna do concealer. So I'm gonna use the NARS concealer in the shade Ginger. And this is pretty much the color of my foundation, maybe a little bit lighter. And I'm just gonna go over kind of the areas that need some extra love. Scars kind of in the no zone where it's a little pink and then a little here where i get a little pink then on the outside i'm just gonna put one of these and then i'm gonna take my lighter one which is in the shade custard but same thing and just do one dot here i honestly don't really love a cakey under eye so i try to keep it very light under there but you know we all have our things <laughs> like some people have dark circles so they need more concealer i have acne I need more concealer in other areas. Okay, I'm gonna use my hourglass brush. You could also use the one I was already using, but I am obsessed with this brush. I usually use it for foundation too, but I just kind of hop around. So again, I'm just gonna tap product in to my skin. My face is also a little dry because of the laser I did yesterday. Like it's again, drying out my oil gland. So I feel like just a little dry okay and then we're gonna do the under eye once you feel like it's nice i sometimes take like my warm fingers and make sure there's no kinks beautiful next i am going to take my laura mercier translucent powder and i'm just gonna take a little bit where i have kind of my bigger bumps and i'm just gonna let the product just sit there while i'm doing my makeup so this is just 
gonna try and hide it a little bit more. So literally I just have dots on my face now and I'm just gonna let those sit. Okay, next for brows, I'm going to brush my brows. My brows are one thing that they love to play with me. Like, I don't know again about you guys. I have to like change products quite often because it's almost like my makeup gets used to my face and then I hate it. Like it needs to be fresh. <laughs> I don't know if that happens to anyone else, but this is my holy grail. This is the Anastasia Brow Freeze Styling Wax. I love this stuff, especially if I want my brows to stay all day. So I'll just take the end of the spoolie. I don't know if that's what it's called. And then I'm just going to put it onto the top of it and rub it in. And then I'm actually gonna take my brows and get the product very all up in there. So I'll brush them down, I'll brush them up, and I'm just like moving them because I have very coarse hairs on my brow so they can stay pointing down so I really wanna get them moving and grooving. I'm gonna do the other side, same thing. I'm gonna kinda move them down, move them up, and then kind of form them. Also, if you are in LA, I will link my brow girl. She is everything. I think brows can change your face dramatically. I always talk about this. I naturally have very pointy brows. Like this area will go like ch -ch -ch. And my goal is to have straighter brows. And she has just helped me so much to just have my brows in the way that I want them. So I will link her below because I think you should not trust anyone with your brows. You gotta trust the right peeps. I think they're good. I sometimes am a little extra and then I'll go in with the brow setter from Benefit. Again, my brows have been difficult lately and I feel like they've needed a new product. So this is just really gonna make sure they're set. There's so many like steps that you don't have to do, but you know when you just are extra because you have products in front of you. So this is what I'm doing. Brows are done. They're looking good, fluffy, nice. Now we're gonna move on to bronzer. Again, I still just have my lovely dots. I'll probably move them shortly. This is my favorite non-pore clogging bronzer right now. These two are my favorite. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Science and Color Bronzer and then the Rare Beauty Bronzer. These two, again, I've every product I'm using has been checked, but I was using so many pore clogging ingredients products, bronzer especially, you'd be so surprised what is in those bronzers. So I'm grateful that I found this one because I really, really like it. It is rich. This color is three tan. So again, very bronzed right now. So gonna warm up the face anyway. So you really don't need a lot of product. I'm gonna tap it on my hand first so that it's not aggressive. And then I'm gonna do that patting motion again. I feel like I'm the least gentle with my face when I do my makeup. Like I'm like, like just beating my head. Again, I am I am looking now alive. Now I'm going to rub this powder off, just a powder brush. Now I'm gonna take my bronzer. I always have a debate of where I wanna put it on my face. Today I'm gonna put it like right where the cheekbone is, and then I'm gonna take it up into the side of my eye. Again, we're kind of going for that like, oh, I went to the beach all day. A little goes a long way with this product, you guys. I mean, literally the dent I've made in this is like, I got this a couple weeks ago and I like, you, it literally is so pigmented, which is nice. We can have it for a long time. It's also massive. <laughs> then I'm gonna take it up into my brow area and then even take it down, but I'm not gonna put more product. I'm just gonna take the product I already have and kind of bring it down to my jawline. Now that that is situated bronzer, I'm also gonna take a little, little, little bit, just a little bit on my nose. So I like to just, you guys, I have no structure. I'm just taking the tip and then I'm also gonna just do a little bit on the lines and then take off the product because I always don't like too much and then I kind of just blend it into my nose. Moving on, we're gonna go to blush. I feel like I always like to do my face first before I touch anything else. It makes me feel a lot better. If I was doing this look where I was insanely natural, I would just do these two together. So tinted moisturizer and then this Pixi on the go blush. 
super popular on TikTok, but it is really pretty and gives you that like very just went to the beach vibe. But I'm going to use the Dewy Blush in Rosy. This is also very pigmented, so a little goes a long way. And I'm just going to take it one, two, three, one, two, three, and one. And then I, I rather build up than look at my face and be like, shoot, I put too much. So I always like to do less first. Really pretty. And it blends really nicely in with the bronzer. This is also just an Amazon brush. I'll link it below, but it's a nice little, I just specifically use it for blush. I also like to take it up so it kind of gives that effect of like all of it being cohesive and just blending really nicely and then take it down my nose. There we go. I mean, I feel like I could do just a little, little, little bit more. Just, just a little. I feel like this whole video is me just beating my face. So I kind of take it along so that again, it gives that like look, sun kissed, all blend together. Now we are gonna go into my eyes. So for my eyes, I'm gonna be insanely, insanely natural. I think I'll just take the palette that I'm using as my mirror. Sometimes I'll just do bronzer, but I think I'm just going to use this Makeup by Mario Bram palette. It's really nice if you're looking for naturals, like this sucker's got every natural in the book. All right, I am going to use kind of just this really pretty tan brown here. And I'm just gonna put it all along my eye. If you wanted quick and messy and just like look like you just threw it on real quick, but it looks good, that is my makeup routine. It is like no structure, blending, look like you're not trying vibes. Again, very natural. I kind of bring it out, fluffy, let it, let it do its thing. Now for the eyes, another trick that I learned that I really loved is I put Vaseline on my eyelashes and then I curl them. I feel like it just makes them rich and darker without having to put a lot of mascara on. So I'm just going to take my finger, put it into the Vaseline back of the hand, and then really just put it on my lashes. And you're like literally coating them like so. And then I'm going to take my eyelash curler, which this one is no bueno. I need to get a new one, but I'll show you the difference. You can see the difference. It's just darker. It's like brighter and then obviously now curled. Same thing. Done. Okay. So I'm actually a really big weirdo and I don't really like mascara. It's not my thing. I just feel like naturally I have darker eyelashes so i kind of can get away with it but i'm debating to put some on right now i don't know if i'm going to next i'm going to take this brow pencil i actually don't fill in my brows again i have really coarse hair so and they're pretty dark so if i did want to i would use the kosas brow pencil but instead i'm just going to put on little actually you know what i'm going to do my powdered blush but this would be what i would fill in i could see if there's like any little hairs that i can fill in with this guy but i honestly kind of skipped this part now we're going to do some blush on top so this is the hourglass ambient lighting blush and sublime blush okay i'm just going to use this blush brush called fur face don't recall where i got it but this blush is really pretty now i'm going to go in with a little bit of bronzer from Tarte. And this is Park F Princess. And I'm actually still on the hunt for a good powdered bronzer that is okay to use. This one is, it's not my favorite, but it's still really pretty. This is kind of where I get messy with it. I'm becoming bronzed on the face, which is always nice. And then now I'm gonna do my lip. So I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury is my favorite. I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go Iconic Nude. The other favorite of mine is Love Trap. That's a little bit of a, more of a pinky where Iconic Nude is more natural. My biggest tip here is actually to get your lips wet and then wipe it off with a towel because you want your most honest lips and sometimes there gets makeup on there. So it's like seeing the most honest lip color and shape is really important. You guys, I almost forgot about another important step. 
So I actually use this Tom Ford for men. I saw this from some model and you can use whatever bronzer. I went and bought this one. Do I think you need to buy this one? Absolutely not. You could use whatever bronzer. She was just using this one and I was like, I'm, I'm at it. But I'm just gonna line my lips a little bit to create a shadow with the bronzer and I kind of just take it down and like rub it into my lip so you can kind of see and then I put a little bit it's like kind of jelly again you really could use whatever and then I just take it under see it just kind of like creates this shadow effect and then you can now guide your lip liner to it but first tip is literally to wipe your lips like biggest thing here we go now i'm gonna use the iconic nude make sure that this is all dry and then go in so i really overline the top and then i guide down my normal lip on the side And then I put like a little in the center and then we'll put a little gloss over it. I really love this, just the Capari Lip Glossy Clear. I keep these in my bag just all day. Sometimes I'll leave it matte. Today we're doing a little gloss. Ta-da! All right, my loves, this is my final look. Pretty bronzy. I feel like pretty natural looking. Again, the goal is to look like I just went to the beach, got a lot of bronze and then put some makeup on over it. And again, all of these products are non pore clogging, which is just so important. And I've been really happy with these ones. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little makeup tutorial. This is just very me, the makeup I'm loving right now. It does change quite often. So this is just the vibe of the time and I'm really loving it. So let me know what you guys want to see next. As always, I'll keep you posted on my journey with my skin, how everything's going. And I'm just thinking of anyone who's going through anything similar. So yeah, make sure you guys like and subscribe because it helps my channel. And just so grateful for the community here. All right, I love you guys and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.